need be on CE. The abandoned house and the people. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'll be on high alert here. Normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. It comes with the territory. Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man! You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... If you'll follow me, Alexios... Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus. You're joking! A piece of it, yes. Impossible! If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca's not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. 
It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the Shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail. Headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. All the years I've lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus's palace was here.
Penelope Shroud, in the flesh. Uh, I mean cloth. Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios? I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. 
You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca. And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. Rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. look cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. In time, you'll learn to love all the things I have to tell you. You seem so certain. I've had lots of success in the past. I'm sure you have. So, what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? If you want Odysseus' greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus' life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me. Sami, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. <sighs> ah. 
Alexius. Good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now, the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistyus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. I'm not an assassin. There's a first time for everything. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is the rope. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Of course. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Phokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. Enjoy your day, Mistyos. Dios.
to you. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What will it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps. But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. If I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time, Two birds, one stone.
Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. You called? <gasps> oh, Alexius, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Kefalus had a spear? Alexios. Surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't have much time for stories. Well, perhaps you didn't. But you know Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His spear was a gift from the gods. It was said never to miss its target. He must have hidden it in the caves after killing his wife with it. He threw a spear that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. It's a sad story. Sounds dangerous. Well, only if you throw it at someone. Why do you need a spear? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. So where is this spear? Apparently, it's hidden deep in the caves beneath Kefalonia. There's an entrance north of here. Maybe you can try that way first. That's not much to go on. You have so little faith in the gods. If Kefalus means for us to have the spear, you will find it. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Alexios, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? You mentioned a reward? Oh, of course. You've certainly earned it. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do, and be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! If you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood! <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. Right, Phobos. Take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it.
Time for a ride. Look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. <laughs> 